is up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel i'm deja hello so today's video i just thought i'll do a q a because i haven't done a q a in a long time and i have a lot of you guys that are new on my channel that just like want to know a little more about me so i asked you guys to ask me questions over on my instagram if you want to be a part or like included in these type of videos where i do acts like polls and stuff on instagram make sure you go follow me if you haven't followed me yet it's just at deja lay so i got all my questions here i've been seeing most of them have to do a lot with um layden's dad which is dj just because we've been around each other a lot lately just uh, hanging out recording videos for you guys so i'm gonna try to make it not so repetitive or try to answer other questions that I haven't in the past so let's just get straight into the video shall we my best friend's little cousin asked me if I live in Vegas still yeah I do sir still live out here <laughs> Naya my little sister said when you gonna come see me girl you were supposed to be out here how long ago we're not even gonna talk about all that um another question asks have you ever met your dad a lot of questions have asked me about my dad and stuff like that are like why I don't film around my dad do I know my dad um yeah I know my dad my dad actually died in a motorcycle accident six years ago now um back in 2014 so that's why way before i started youtube um i wish we could have like i wish you guys could have experienced my dad because he was such a great person your most painful tattoo and i would honestly say my most painful tattoo top three is i have this one on my side it's just a crown and it says queen me and dj got matching tattoos back when we were in high school um so yeah i got that one and then he has a crown and king that was actually his first tattoo got that um that was like top one top one right there and then i have a little wave on my ankle hurt so bad although it took him like five seconds it hurt so bad i hope this is not rattling because like my car is on should i turn my car off we gonna see how long this lasts oh my god it's so hot out here it's 96 degrees and i just turned my car off anyways and it hurts so bad my foot was doing one of these like it hurts so bad so one would be my crown two most definitely my back hurts so bad and then three is my ankle how many tattoos do you have i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10. You guys want to see a um, tattoo meaning video or whatever? Because all the tattoos I do get and will be getting all have a meaning. I think most tattoos on your body should be kind of meaningful because they're going to be there for the rest of your life. But for me, all my tattoos kind of have a meaning. So yeah. Would you enjoy your own YouTube content if you didn't know yourself? Honestly, I'm not even just saying this because like, it's I'm me, you know? But I honestly believe I would because like i feel like i'm such a dope ass person and my vibe is so lit like everyone that i have met in my life have has told me that they have never met anybody like me like my vibe is different and i just feel like i'm a really cool ass person and not trying to be all big headed but you know like i'm really tight like i know y'all want to hang out with me i'm lit i'm lit honestly would you ever consider going to college i tried it tried it for a year and a half i went to school for a year and a half it wasn't for me. School is not for everybody. Most definitely not for me. So would I go back? No. Okay, I'm gonna answer this question because it's a question that I've been seeing everywhere. Everybody wants to know. It says, are you and DJ back together? Um, and then she says, I love you two together. You have such a cute little family. Um, no, me and DJ aren't back together. We're not together. And if we were together, we would honestly let you guys know. Like we started this whole little couple thing on YouTube. So I would feel like you guys would be probably the first people to know that we were together. But no, we are not together. That's just the homie. <laughs> Have you ever gotten bullied while growing up? Um, honestly, no. I know some people who've gotten bullied, um, I've seen incidents with bullying, but me personally, I've never been bullied. Are you going to have more kids? Everyone asks me that all the time, and I'm going to tell you guys how I say all the time. I honestly don't know. Like, as of right now, I kind of want Layden to be my only child, and I'm probably only saying that because I've always said I've never wanted, like, different baby daddies and all this and that and like when i do have kids and when i've ever decided to have kids i wanted them all to be by one person so the fact that me and dj aren't together um and who knows when we will ever even get back together um i think you no, know, like Layden's probably my only kid unless i do get married and i will have to be married for like a couple years before we even have kids so that's that what do you do for a living besides youtube and being a mommy um well youtube is my job being a mom is my job so other than like working and working and working i like to hang out with friends 
the friends that I do have. And I also like to just be alone. Like, sometimes I don't even have the TV on because I like to just be in peace and quiet, collect my thoughts and think about life and just enjoy myself, my time, you know? Would you ever date again? Um, yeah, I have before. Me and DJ have been broken up for like two years now, probably almost three. We've been broken up for a long time. I have talked to other people. I was talking to somebody for like six months. That's that. <laughs> Do you still have feelings for DJ or is it just a stunt? Never once said I had feelings for that man. Never once said I didn't have feelings for that man. I have love for him. I will always have love for him. That's the father of my child and just our back history and stuff, but never said I have feelings for him. What products do you use to clean and moisturize your face? Um, honestly, the only product I've been using since I even like understood the fact that people get acne is Clean and Clear. Clean and Clear Morning Burst, the orange one, that's the only thing I use. What are your insecurities? Hmm. I mean, of course, like everyone has insecurities. Me, what would I change about myself after like breastfeeding and stuff? Like my boobs, I want my boobs done so bad. I'm gonna get my boobs done. Another insecurity, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I learned to accept my flaws and understand that everyone does have flaws and flaws make you beautiful, so. You know, you can't really change nothing that God gave you other than the fact like surgery and stuff like that, so I guess you could change stuff. But like, I just learned to accept the fact like God, God made me like this. And if God made me like this, I'm beautiful. Do you have a phobia? Um, do I have a phobia? I'm trying to think, cause it's a lot of stuff that like made me like, ooh. Maybe that's just, I have a very weak stomach. Like I can't see blood and I can't see people hurting themselves. Like, ah, it, it, oh, but like phobia, phobia, like what am I scared of? I don't know. Y'all, I'm a thug. I told y'all, I'm a thug, so I'm getting scared. What scare you, bro? Nothing on we thugs. We thugs in these streets. What is one thing you struggle with the most? I will honestly say just with myself like mentally like I'm so hard on myself because I know the potential that I have and I know what I'm capable of and when I'm not doing the best that I feel like I can be doing I'm very hard on myself. I think that stems from me just growing up and how like my daddy like raised me bro like he like instilled in me like I'm great like honestly I can do whatever I put my mind to and I know I could. When I feel like I'm giving myself like the short end of the stick, I think the fact that I'm so hard on myself and like I be doing so great sometimes and I'm like, bro, you could do way better. So I feel like I should just accept the little achievements that I do instead of trying to like put myself down because it's not like the biggest one, you know? What's your last name? The world may never know. My last name is not Lay for those of you who probably think my last name is Lay. And that's how you pronounce it. My name is Deja Lay. A lot of people be like, Deja Lee. Like, no, it's Deja Lay. Um, but Lay is not my last name. And I don't think I'll put my last name out there because the one time I did put my last name on social media, my daddy cussed me out, bro. Okay, like it's really hot, y'all. I can't. I can't do it, like it, I'm burning. Describe your first kiss. <laughs> Y'all, listen to this, okay. I was in like sixth grade, I was 11, and it was this little boy that I thought I was so in love with y'all. Oh my God. We made up this whole little master plan like the, the night before because we were in the same class. We planned out like, when I get up and write my name, you hurry up and get up and write your name so we can go together. So the whole plan was us basically kissing in the library and it was literally like a and then, <laughs> and bro, it was just the most awkwardest thing. And he was like, you ever kissed anybody before? And I didn't want to sound like, you know, I was lame. So I was like, yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> Are you bisexual? I seen a lot of those too. A lot of people have been asking me that. And a lot of y'all little girls been in my DMs and I'm like, damn, y'all so fine and beautiful and cute. <sighs> but like we could be friends. Like I like, I like, I like boys. I like bigness. <laughs> What's something, not someone that means the world to you? What's something that means the world to me? My family, everyone in my immediate family that I know right now with everything going on with the world, they have all been healthy. So, you did not have to come park right next to me while I do this. So, that's just that. <laughs> that's so awkward. Why is like four of them coming to pull next to me? But yeah, that's something that means the world to me right now that my family is all healthy. What's your biggest regret? I, <laughs> I don't regret anything. I think everything in your life is supposed to happen. I'm. I honestly believe that everything in our life is already written out. God already knows how our life is supposed to go. So like we're just kind of on a path that he had for us. So whatever has happened in my life, um, 
happened for a reason and I feel like everything that has happened in my life made me the person that I am today so I'm truly thankful for everything how did you get your stomach fly after having a baby honestly I don't know as of right now your girl getting thick and I'm thick as hell I'm just kidding um I'm actually the thickest I've ever been in my life <laughs> um I don't know after I had Layden I breastfed and they say like breastfeeding helps a lot with shrinking your uterus back down and kind of like losing weight and stuff like that but I've always been pretty slim and petite um so guess kind of genetics first said how are you mentally not trying to be in your business i just want to see you i just want to make sure you're happy what that don't make okay um i'm good mentally <sighs> lying i would say as of right now mentally i'm better than what i've been in a long time i feel like i'm not a hundred percent but i feel like i like i said I haven't felt this good in a long time. So mentally right now, I'm straight. How the f you so bad, honey? I don't know. Ask my mom and my dad. Woo! Bars! Do you plan on modeling? Y'all, I would have been a model if somebody would have reached out and like told me, like, come on. Um, what's your biggest motivation in life? My son, Layden JC. Hi, on Lima Davis. Um, the last question I think I will answer because I've been seeing a lot, and a lot of you guys have asked me and DM me since I started YouTube is are you close with your mom? You don't really speak upon you guys' relationship. How is that? Um, me and my mom, honestly, we're not close. Um, we haven't been close in like a long time. Don't really talk like that to be honest I've never really had like a mother and daughter type of relationship that's a lot uh, let me try to put this into like the best words I can say I haven't had a mother and daughter relationship that I envisioned or that I would want to have with my child since I was young with my mom as of right now um, me and my mom don't really talk like that um, I haven't seen her in a minute, honestly. But it's like, I love my mom, like that's my mom. I was closer with my dad. Like me and my dad's relationship was the type of relationship I would wanna have with my kids. Like, that's why I feel like right now, I want me and Layden's relationship and I'm gonna make sure me and Layden have a type of relationship that he knows that is my man's bro like we gonna be like this, but also to the point like he knows I'm not your friend. I'm your mom first, friend second. Like, I want him to be able to, if he's out with his friends, something go down, something happen, I want him to be able to be like, oh my God, I gotta call my mom, instead of like, oh, like I don't wanna tell my mom, I'm scared. Like, I want him to make sure, like, I'm the first person he thinks about when he needs something, when he needs help, when he's happy, he wants to call me first, tell me, like, I want me and my son's relationship to be how I wanted my relationship to be with my parents times 12. So I'm gonna make sure me and him have that relationship. And hopefully you guys can see that relationship grow over the years, cause right now that's my baby. Like, yeah, like he love his daddy, but like, he love, love, love me, okay? That's my child. And I love it. And I know our relationship just gonna get like 12 times better. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that let you guys know a little more about me. Maybe we could do this like once a month type of things. But we're gonna be asking new questions and I'm tired of seeing questions that say, what's the going on with you and DJ with this and that about DJ? Like y'all, just relax. Relax, Linda. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far, you watched the whole video, mm, put a butterfly in the emo in the comments. Put a butterfly emoji in the comments. Um, and don't tell nobody why, okay? So we're gonna see who actually be watching my videos. But yeah, I love you guys. Bye.